everybody. It's the beginning of the month, and that means Lush Kitchen Box unboxing. So this box just arrived today. It is the March Lush Kitchen Box, and something tells me it is going to be very floral forward. Now, I don't remember what was up for the vote because it was a month ago, and my brain can't remember that far back. Um, but let's get into the box and see what is waiting for us. So first up, there's the little promo card that they include every month, and it's a nice little floral design with looks like to be one of those single line drawings. Um, so that's kind of cute. And feel good florals. So yes, it's definitely going to be a floral box. And then if you scan one of those QR codes, it's going to give you some more information on each of the products that are in the box. So it's Blossom and Mother Nature's Sweet Embrace with Uplifting Citrus and Delicate Floral Essential Oils. So fingers crossed that it's not too florally for me. Um, I do like florals. Um, I just don't really do rose all that well. So let us see. Move some of these uh, packing peanuts out of the way. All right. So first thing we see here looks to be like a, a bubble bar with my favorite thing, floaties. Um, not really. I hate floaties in the bath, um, but I love the color on this. Um, the smell. Oh, that's, oh, oh, yes. Oh, I don't know what scent this is, but it's like earthy and amazing and Oh, it's not, like, it's not super floral. Um, hold on. Let's take a look at the packing list. I was trying to do avoid spoilers, but I'm curious to know about that. So that is the a Flower Tub Bubble Bar. It has in it, I don't know how to pronounce this word, Coop? Rissus Sempervirens oil. Don't know what that is. Uh, citrus Orantium. Don't know what that is. Amara bitter orange flower extract. Um, there is a Boswella Cartier. I'm I'm murdering these words. Um, Boswella Cartier resin extract. Viola or odorata leaf extract. So obviously these are all like the Latin words of all the ingredients. Um, but it is definitely like an earthier scent and I dig it. Just wish it didn't have the floaties. So that was not a voted for item, by the way. That was one of the surprise items. So then we also have here everybody's favorite and my just it's okay i didn't vote for this one um i know hate me right it's the mamma mia kitchen exclusive shower scrub so glorious pink scrub that restores your skin's natural glow and then if i give that an open oh that's on there tight so there it is Super pink, super vibrant, and the scent on that. Oh, it actually smells reminiscent of that bubble bar. So is that bubble bar actually Mamma Mia scented and now I'm changing my mind on how I like Mamma Mia? Okay, so I don't know if they're the same scent or not, but they smell similar. So the Mamma Mia one, so this, if I look at the ingredients, so this has grapefruit, um, bergamot, rosewood, vanilla. No, definitely different ingredients, but this bubble bar does kind of remind me of Mamma Mia. Uh, 
All right. I see some fun. So this is the whole lot of roses fun. Um, it is, wow, that is soft. Incredibly, fun is not normally this soft. Um, and that's surprising because it's winter here and I don't know why it's so soft, but this is rose jam scented. Um, basically you should be able to mold fun. Uh, it's kind of like a Play-Doh soap. Uh, but yeah, a whole lot of roses fun. Uh, just extremely soft. All right, moving in. A few more items here. So this one here. This is... Has more floaties. Um, now this actually isn't like a bath bomb or a bubble bar. This is a buttercream. Um, for some unknown reason, the packing slip listed it as a body lotion, but it's a buttercream. So it's kind of like a cleanser lotion, if you will. And the scent on that one. Oh, I thought it was going to be more rosy. There's definitely rose in there. Um, it's actually a nice light scent, nice light floral. So what does a ring of roses say? Um, this one has, see, they're all Latin words. Like, why can't they just put, like, normal words in here? Oh, here we go, down at the bottom. So it has evening primrose, lemon, orange peel, rose damascena flower, uh, rose centrifolia. So, yeah, so rose and citrus. It's actually very nice, very light not overly rosy and I dig that. So I've never used a better cream so I'm looking forward to seeing what that's like. I believe it's a love it or hate it type product to be honest. And then the last item. This one I know I voted for. So this is a B Electro and it's the shower gel. I thought, wish it would have been a bit bigger one but Super bright green. And this says, The zing of grapefruit sweeps you away to breakfast in Paris while fresh rose petal infusion and exotic jasmine sweeten your skin. I do love jasmine, so I'm looking forward to that. So let's give that an open. Take off the safety seal because in North America, we safety seal everything. So there it is. Give it a little bloop bloop. And the scent. Oh, that's beautiful. So yeah, it is like a light floral citrus again. It's a very floral citrus box, to be honest. Um, I think this is supposed to share the same scent as the bee scent perfume, possibly, maybe. Um, not sure. Comment below if you know what it is, but I think that might be it. But I do like that. The consistency looks very nice. Yes, I do love the smell of that one. Um, give me jasmine in anything and I will be happy. So yeah, that is the contents of the March kitchen box. What did you guys think if you got it? Uh, if you didn't get it, are you upset that you didn't get that month, this month? Um... Yeah, comment down below and let me know, and I'm looking forward to seeing your thoughts. So, enjoy, and we'll see you on the next video, and uh, yeah, talk to you guys soon. Uh, bye!